Hello, Mom Amanda. This is Elizabeth. This presentation is in response to your text message asking about the sampling technique to use in your research. We know that sampling is used when the population is very big and that it will be difficult and expensive to collect data. Uh, I gave an example here. For instance, uh, if I'm going to conduct a survey about the average age of first year college students in Cavite, can you imagine how many schools I would be visiting just to find uh, uh, the average age? So I determined here that I'm going to use what we call cluster sampling or I could use multi sampling technique. Now, before determining the sampling technique, you need to answer these questions, which in fact are some of the components of your dissertation title. What type of research are you doing? Who will be your population? Where are you going to conduct this research? After answering these questions, it will be very easy for you to determine what sampling technique to use. I have included some literature here that will help you to determine the sampling technique to use. It would be nice to have some background information on data collection, um, methods of collecting data, and then sampling techniques to understand about sampling techniques so that you'll be able to determine which one of these is the one you're going to be using in your research. Now, after determining the sampling uh, technique, at the end of the day, you need to determine the size of the sample you're going to take out of your population. For, for example, if you have around 2,000 people to be investigated, how many of those 2,000 are you going to include in your research? So statistically, we have um, a formula for us to determine how big our sample size is going to be. Mom Amanda, I hope I have been helpful, a little bit, I hope. But if not, please, you, you can ask me anytime. I am excited to discuss things with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>